plan yet on a handshake at Israel's president's residence. If workers in Jerusalem want to roll out the red carpet or polish the silver, let them plan it for some other event. Because the latest reported compromise in the government's proposed judicial overhaul is not moving forward. We cannot agree to the new compromise proposal. It does not make the basic change needed to alter the Judicial Selection Committee. That's the latest Tuesday from Israeli Justice Minister Yariv Levine, one of many figures across the political spectrum giving a thumbs down to what Israeli media had reported Monday night as a potential deal between coalition and opposition on how to end eight months of protest and tumult and division with an agreement brokered by President Isaac Herzog. I appreciate and value President Herzog's efforts to find a solution that will preserve the unity of the public in Israel. But Netanyahu is again misleading everyone and is trying to buy time and legitimacy. The deal would reportedly freeze overhaul legislation for 18 months, soften a law already passed, and mostly take the opposition side on the key issue of who picks judges, with the key Supreme Court hearing coming a week from now. The failure for now of this compromise plan shows this crisis may not end in a handshake. It may end with the government simply deciding at some point to stop passing more overhaul laws. A frozen conflict, not peace, but a frozen political conflict is better than a hot one.